All right, I'm going to select it back to a torque mode and demonstrate underspeed protection while we're in this climb. So if I've selected a torque value that's too small for the flight conditions that I've asked for, So I've asked for 20% torque and I've also asked for a thousand feet per minute uh, climb from the autopilot. But the airplane just can't do it. Physics won't allow. As the airplane slows to within 10 knots of predicted stall speed, the auto throttle is going to automatically switch from torque mode to a speed mode. It's indicating under speed. It's still indicating torque mode, but under speed is the controlling mode currently. After having been in under speed for more than three seconds, it's going to switch automatically to a speed hold mode of uh, stall speed plus 10 knots, which is the minimum threshold, plus three knots for additional safety margin. In straight level flight, that speed will maintain constant there, and if I want to manually try to select the speed less than that, it won't let me select anything less than that predicted stall speed plus seven knot, or plus 10 knots. They indicate 107 knots for today's weight condition. As you know, if you enter a, a turn, your stall speed will increase with a bank angle. So the system accounts for that as well. So I'll go ahead and command a turn. As the airplane banks into a turn, you'll notice the target speed on the auto throttle increasing from that 107 knots as required for the bank angle and load factor associated with the turn to ensure protection from stall. Once that speed has increased, it's gonna stay at that higher speed, even if you level out. In the event that the pilot decides that uh, for some reason he needs immediate control of the uh, airplane, he can either disconnect the auto throttle with the button as previously illustrated or simply push the throttles to where he wants them to go. I'll demonstrate that by pushing the throttles up to increase our climb from this slow climb state. So manually just push the throttles up and hold them wherever your desired power setting is. Once the pilot releases the throttles after that manual override condition, the auto throttle will automatically take the throttles back to the previously commanded position. All right, I'm gonna switch back to torque mode and to high speed to demonstrate overspeed protection. First, we'll do that with flaps. So I'm gonna select flaps approach And the system right now recognizes that the flaps have been extended and it will not let the airplane accelerate beyond the 202 knot maximum limit speed for flaps in the approach position. We'll induce a descent to allow the airplane to accelerate towards that limit speed a little quicker. Right now we're on an ITT limit in torque mode, so it's giving me max available power for today. As it approaches the flap speed limit, in the bottom right corner you'll notice the indication of flap will appear. The throttles will switch into a speed protection mode. So over speed associated with the flaps. Beyond three seconds in the overspeed, it's changed the target speed value to 199, and indicating the reason for it is flap, in the bottom right corner. And the same thing would happen in the landing flap configuration. I'll go ahead and retract the flaps. 
I'm going to reselect a torque mode. Now that the flaps are up, we'll look at the same thing in a high speed over speed protection. Right, as the airplane accelerates towards maximum speed. The auto throttle will recognize the overspeed condition. After three seconds in overspeed, the speed target has changed from 263 as the maximum speed to 260. And now it reverts to speed hold mode at 260 knots.